Hello and welcome to Morbid Crime Stories. If you enjoy our stories, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We would love to hear what you thought about this story, so please leave your comments below. Thank you and enjoy. <laughs> the Shocking Murder of Shanann Watts and Her Children The Christopher Lee Watts Case Christopher Lee Watts appeared to be the epitome of a devoted family man. Charismatic and charming, his outward persona painted a picture-perfect life alongside his wife, Shanann Watts, and their two young daughters. Yet, behind closed doors lurked a darkness that would shatter the facade of suburban bliss. In August 2018, Frederick, Colorado became the stage for a harrowing tragedy that would send shockwaves through communities nationwide. As we delve into the depths of this chilling case, we uncover layers of deception and betrayal that challenge our understanding of human nature. The Christopher Lee Watts case is not merely an isolated incident but a sobering reminder of how the very individuals entrusted with love and protection can turn into agents of unfathomable horror. What drives a seemingly loving husband and father to commit such unspeakable acts? Join us on a journey through the intricate web of emotions, motives, and consequences that culminated in one fateful night that changed countless lives forever. Intrigued by the complexities lying beneath the surface of domestic tranquility? Prepare to unravel the unsettling truths hidden within seemingly idyllic relationships as we navigate through the devastating events surrounding Shanann Watts and her innocent children at the hands of someone they trusted most. This narrative transcends mere crime reporting. It serves as an urgent call to confront uncomfortable realities lurking within familiar settings, because sometimes monsters don't dwell under beds but right beside us in plain sight. In the quiet suburb of Frederick, Colorado, an eerie silence enveloped the home where Shanann Watts and her two young daughters resided. Friends and family grew concerned as calls and texts to Shanann went unanswered, a stark departure from her usual vibrant presence in social circles. The unsettling absence of the devoted mother raised alarm bells within her community, triggering a chain of events that would unravel a dark web of deceit woven by someone she trusted implicitly. As authorities launched an investigation into Shanann's disappearance, they combed through every detail with precision and urgency. From canvassing neighborhoods for potential leads to analyzing digital footprints for any hint of unusual activity, law enforcement left no stone unturned in their quest for answers. Suspicion loomed heavy over those closest to Shanann, her husband Christopher Lee Watts, who presented a facade crumbling under scrutiny. Tensions mounted as questions swirled around his inconsistent statements and alarming behavior in the wake of his family's mysterious vanishing act. In the bleak dawn of August 15, 2018, as daylight slowly spilled over the Watts' familial home in Frederick, Colorado, investigators found themselves thrust into a macabre maze of deceit and horror. The tranquility of the quiet neighborhood was shattered by an undulating sense of unease as Christopher Lee Watts stood before cameras appealing for his family's safe return. But beneath this facade lurked a chilling truth, one that would soon unravel with devastating consequences. As suspicion swirled around him like vultures sensing death nearby, Watts unwittingly sealed his own fate by submitting to a polygraph test at the urging of law enforcement. With each question posed, the net drew tighter around him until finally it snapped shut, revealing deception woven deep within his words. The moment he confessed to killing Shanann Watts became etched in history as a decisive pivot point leading to his inevitable downfall. Hours stretched into eternity as officers painstakingly combed through digital footprints and physical evidence, piecing together fragments of a puzzle stained crimson with blood and betrayal. The sun dipped below the horizon on that fateful day casting long shadows over what should have been a sanctuary turned sepulcher. As darkness draped itself over the crime scene where innocent lives were viciously extinguished, justice loomed on the horizon like a specter hungry for retribution. With hearts heavy but resolve unyielding, authorities unearthed Shanann Watts' lifeless body from its shallow grave, a grim revelation that foreshadowed an even more harrowing discovery yet to come the small bodies of Celeste and Bella entombed just feet away from their mother's remains. Following his arrest, Christopher Lee Watts faced multiple charges in relation to the brutal murders of his wife, Shanann Watts, and their two young daughters, Bella and Celeste. The Weld County District Attorney's Office formally charged him with nine felony counts, 
three counts of first-degree murder after deliberation, two additional counts of first-degree murder, victim under 12, position of trust, one for each child, one count of unlawful termination of a pregnancy, and three counts of tampering with a deceased human body. These charges painted a grim picture of the heinous crimes Watts had committed within the sanctity of his own home. The legal proceedings that followed were fraught with tension as details emerged about the extent to which Christopher Lee Watts went to conceal his actions. During court hearings and testimonies, it became apparent that Watts had coldly plotted and executed the murders before callously attempting to cover up his tracks by disposing of the bodies at an oil site where he worked. As the case unraveled in front of a horrified public audience, emotions ran high as justice sought to be served for Shanann, Bella, Celeste, innocent lives taken senselessly by someone entrusted with their care and protection. Ultimately, after pleading guilty on November 6, 2018 perhaps recognizing there was no escape from this grave injustice, Christopher Lee Watts was sentenced on November 19 to five life sentences without parole, one for each count against him along with an additional 48 years for unlawful termination related to Shanann's pregnancy. The case of Shanann Watts and her children sent shockwaves through both local communities and the nation at large. The small town of Frederick, Colorado, where the family resided, was plunged into disbelief as details of the horrific murders emerged. Neighbors spoke of a seemingly perfect family that had been torn apart in the most unthinkable way. Candlelight vigils were held, not just in remembrance of the victims but also as a collective mourning for the loss of innocence in their quiet neighborhood. Nationally, media coverage dissected every aspect of the case, from Christopher Lee Watts' initial pleas for his family's safe return to his eventual confession. The Watts family murder highlighted deeply troubling issues surrounding domestic violence and intimate partner homicide. It became a stark reminder that even behind closed doors, families can harbor dark secrets and dangers. This tragedy sparked conversations on recognizing signs of abuse within relationships and seeking help before it escalates to such catastrophic levels. Domestic violence hotlines saw an uptick in calls following this high-profile case as people became more attuned to the warning signs that could potentially save lives. As we reflect on the tragic case of Shanann Watts and her precious children, Bella and Celeste, it becomes evident that domestic violence can lurk behind even the most seemingly perfect facades. Christopher Lee Watts shattered not just his own family but also left a permanent scar on society's consciousness. This horrifying event serves as a stark reminder of the importance of recognizing warning signs within relationships and seeking help before it escalates to such devastating outcomes. Moreover, the Christopher Lee Watts case underscores the critical need for improved support systems for victims of domestic abuse. It highlights how societal stigmas and systemic failures can contribute to enabling perpetrators rather than protecting vulnerable individuals. By shedding light on these shortcomings in our responses to intimate partner violence, this tragedy compels us to advocate for comprehensive reforms in policies, law enforcement protocols, and community resources aimed at preventing such atrocities from occurring again. What did you think of our story? Please let us know by leaving your comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch our other videos. Thank you. <laughs>